Hello and welcome to the Just The Job YouTube channel. Now what is Just The Job? Well it's a career series of programmes where we take a look at the various career opportunities that are available today. And you never know, just one of those might be Just The Job for you. Now don't forget to subscribe because every week we have new videos coming out. We've got the link in the, uh, in the video here or in the video description below. You'll also see the link to our own website where we have the latest vacancies and more information about all the the careers that we feature. Now then, this week we are going to be looking at the world of plumbing and we sent James along to find out what is involved in becoming a plumber. James will be spending time with TJ Helm Plumbing. Trevor Helm heads a team of nine, five of which are undergoing their apprenticeships. The qualities for an apprentice is someone who really needs to be adaptable, they need to be adaptable in the sense uh, going into a workforce situation straight out of school. They need to be adaptable in the, uh, changing from where they are working from day to day quite often. They might be in a cow shed one day, they might be in an apartment the next day. Primarily they need to have respect. Respect for themselves, where they actually want to go, respect for their employer and also respect for the, for the customer. So the first things we do in the morning is just like clean the vans up and that and get our gear sorted. James will be mentored by Foreman Heath Hill, who's been plumbing for nine years. Uh, probably the things I look for is um, keen to learn. Um, good on the job, like good on the tools and stuff like that. Not, not too scared of getting dirty or getting amongst them and all that. And strong stomach and all that and just interested in mainly in the job and just to get along with us. First Get's stop is to pick up materials for needed for the job. And two of these up here. Got pipe as well. Use this. We're going to be needing. So grab some of that. Sweet. Got that. Next it's off to Edgewater College where new toilet blocks are being built. Here you go, chuck that on. Thanks. Just for safety and all that on the job. What are we going to be doing today? So far at the moment, all we're going to do is um, get these outlets set up. So what's going to happen is the floor's getting built up because they're going to slope the floor out to the drain. Okay. So the floor's coming up 20 mil. So we're going to go from that measurement up to the outlet. And so what we're going to do is put these bends on, cut the pipe and set these bends up to the exact height. So I'll get you to do with that PVC saw. Just try and cut it flush through that line, so it's nice and level. Apprenticeships are a, are a good start to a career, mainly from a student's perspective. If you're a good learner but struggling within a, in an academic field, you've probably got a, a better chance in life in achieving a, a, a national qualification through experiential learning and some off-job training through a training provider like a Polytech. I've been an apprentice plumber for eight months now and I wanted to do a trade and wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I tried out plumbing and I found it really great. Going to a different job every day or different tradesmen every day, new different things. So what, what are you going to do to fix it? I'm oh, just going to get some bends from the van and bend it back into the wall. One of the good things about a trade, like plumbing and gas fitting especially, is that um, you get to, uh, while you're learning the trade and, and doing your apprenticeship, you get, you get paid while you learn, so it's quite a bonus. Once you've been through a year or so, uh, you start to really learn and appreciate what the trade's about. And you work out what's best for you and what you enjoy. You should never really base it on money because once you enjoy something, that's when you start to earn a bit of money because people recognise that you're good at what you do. James' next job is to install the systems. That's so all you have to do is just chuck those two hoses into each one of those holes. Just come here and James just to show you what the finished products going to look like. To give James some appreciation of what he's working on, Heath gives him a tour of a recently completed toilet block. It looks really cool. And plus once you, when you finish a job like this, you know, you feel like you've achieved something. So you're happy with the look and all that, so it's good. Back on site, the team now have to figure out how to get the water cylinder in place. That gives us... Each yeah, job presents its yep, own right. challenges and um, some, if not completed correctly, could potentially be dangerous. When, when you've got a cylinder full of water and you're heating it up, that water heat expands um, just because of the fact that it's heating up. Uh, if, if you didn't have a vent off the cylinder letting some of that expansion or pressure off, um, the cylinder would actually explode. So a lot of people don't understand it, but the hot water cylinders in their houses could become potentially bombs if they weren't installed properly. So that's why you need licensed guys who are trained properly to install these things. So plumbing's not just about digging trenches and bending pipes. Some of the aspects of plumbing are to do with hot water systems, uh, solar heating systems, and then you get into the gas, gas stream side of the industry, which is about um, 
uh, gas installations and fireplaces, kitchen hobs, hot water systems, boilers. The future for the young guys in this industry is huge at the moment. We've got, uh, we currently have statistics which show a huge school shortage coming up within the next four to five years. Once you're licensed, I think you've got a career for life, whatever part of the industry you go into. It's time to pack up. So has James made an impression? She's James for having you on the job, you're doing pretty well today. It's good to uh, you ask a bit of questions and all that, you got you know, a bit of promise in you and all that. Pretty keen to have you on the job too, you didn't mind getting your hands dirty and stuff. Uh, we're off now, so Marty jump in, we'll drop you off home, eh? Sweet, bro. For more information on this programme, visit our website at www.justajob.co.nz. The link is in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe as we have more new videos coming out every week.